What motivates me to do my work is Mother Nature is just beautiful. She's amazing and I want to share that beauty with people. It's amazing to be out there, you know, you can think of like a, a snowshoe hare uh, hiding underneath a tree on a snowy day or a polar bear in a blizzard hunting. Those moments are so special and, and I know that I'm privileged. I'm privileged to, to see these things. I want to capture them and I want to share them with, with the world so that they gain an appreciation of Mother Nature as well and in the hopes that that aids uh, their preservation. I believe my work is important because we know the world is changing. We know that climate change is real. Uh, we know that uh, development is, is encroaching more and more on nature as uh, the human population grows. And there's less wild spaces, wild places for Mother Nature and, and uh, her beings. I feel that uh, without some type of a change on the current path that we're on, uh, we'll see you know, a lot, of, a lot of species in Canada that, that we won't be able to share with, with future generations. And I think that's really sad. So in terms of my work, I hope that someone purchases it and wants to share it uh, with, with people when they have it in their home or their office and uh, tell them the story and tell them how important uh, that species or, or that image might be and, and how maybe it'll conjure some conversations on how little changes could add up to a big effect. You know, do people really need artwork? It's a question I, I struggle with all, all the time because I mean, there are some resources that go into making my art and then you hang it on the wall, but art is the soul, it's the passion of the world. I mean, it's how you, it's how you get an effect, it's how you express yourself. And my art is expressing that beauty of mother nature in the hopes of her preservation. So yes, people need art, they need this. And the resources used I think are far outweighed by by the benefits of the impact of my art. At All in the Wild, how do we give back? We in 2010 started a land fund and we purchased land for nature through the sale of my art. Whenever a piece of art is sold uh, of my works, 6% goes into our land fund. And we right now have 1,600 acres set aside for mother nature. It, it's, it's awesome that this is occurring. Now, I've walked some of that land. Just last fall, I walked uh, one of the parcels of land and I came to this meadow. And as I entered the meadow, 36 elk stood up and uh, it was awesome to see, to think that that land is going to be their home. They're gonna have their kids there. They're gonna eat there, they're gonna sleep there. Just like we have homes, they have a home that is theirs and there's no encroachment. There's gonna be no development there. It's there forever.